trying to maneuver that person into that position. Or uh, many other people are just clueless. They don't know what to talk about. So if you step into a party and you think, everybody I meet, I'm going to figure out what I can do to help them, it makes life a lot easier. Because now you don't have to figure out how you can trick them into doing something for you. So what you're trying to do is you're just trying to score karmic points before you need them. Right? And now the only way you can know what you can do for a person is you have to find out about that person, right? Because, <laughs> so, you know, you as a videographer, uh, I, I need to know, you know, what can I do to make your life better? And, you know, maybe it's give you an interview. Maybe it's to tell you, uh, you know, at this conference, these are the people I think you should interview. Or maybe you already know these people and you're saying, guy, you know, how can you get me to this person? Can you ask them to be interviewed? So I'm thinking, how can I help you? That makes my life a lot easier because now I don't have to think of, you know, how do I trick you into interviewing me? Um, it's a lot easier. This is Claire. She's new in town and has just met five really useful contacts. One of these useful contacts is Steve. He's an up-and-coming young professional looking for potential clients. Di is a potential client. She's recently started up her own business and needs someone to help out part-time. Vicky can help out part-time when she's not creating fabulous works of art. Dave needs a fabulous work of art for his reception area. He also needs guests for his charity ball. Claire's free, but she needs to find a great... Schmooze. The art of networking.